Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Today we're going to discuss about the GI Surgery 2019 NEED Super Speciality Exam results. Well, GI Surgery is one of the most sought after branches along with Oncosurgery and Urology. Yes, these three are the most sought after branches because of the earning potential, the job opportunities that you get, the ease of work, you become a consultant very soon. All these factors um, are considered when someone chooses a branch of their choice. You know how many people applied for 2019 in need super specialty for GI surgery? 2,694. That's much higher than plastic surgery. It's way higher than oncosurgery as well. There were less than 2,000 for oncosurgery. It's 2,694 for GI surgery. Now let's take a look at how many colleges are offering this course and how many seats are there for MCH. We are not including DNB seats. When I count the number of seats, you can see, check out the number of DNB seats and the, you can see the seat matrix for the year by searching it on Google. Well, to see the MCH uh, seats, go to Google, type MCI courses in Google search. The first option that you get over here, click on that link and it takes you to the MCI website. There you can select MCH GI surgery or MCH surgical gastroenterology. It's given like that and select all states and search the uh, search, search it. It will show a result of 30 colleges offering 109 seats. Carefully select AIMS, PGI, JIPMER from all these and remove the number of seats offered by them because they are not included in uh, this exam NEET and also uh, college called Chitra. So um, it says 109. So after detecting those colleges, it might be somewhere a bit less than 100. Then there will be DNB seats on top of this. But there are eight other seats, which is known as hepatobiliary surgery. There are eight seats in ILBS Delhi and two seats in Tamil Nadu. So eight seats you can add to this. Now, like I told you, 2,694 people appearing for it in 2019. And I don't know how many people will have uh, applied for it this year, 2020. So well, how much did the person with first rank get? He got a score of 339. The person with the last rank had a score of minus 5. So it can range from a negative score to a score that is more than 81%. The competition is quite tough in the higher ranks. The second rank had got a score of 336. Third rank had a score of 331. Then 330. Then 328. 327 by the sixth rank. 36 by 7th rank, 325 score by seven uh, by 8, 9 and 10th rank holders. Rank 20 had a score of 320, 312, rank 30 had a score of 308, rank 40 had a score of 304, rank 50 had a score of 301, even rank 60 had a score of 300. So people between 50 and 60, almost everyone is getting 301 or 300. And then only after rank 60 and beyond, it goes to 295 for rank 70, 293 for rank 80, 291 for rank 90, 289 for rank 100, 281 for rank 150, 274 for rank 200. I think it's beyond rank 200 when you can stop expecting any seats. Rank 250 had a score of 269. Rank 300 has a score of 262. Beyond this, don't expect a seat at all. Beyond, beyond, beyond rank uh, 300 or 400, don't expect a seat at all. 500 rank holder has a score of 244. If you're getting a score of 50% in mock tests and all that after negative marking, you know how much the rank might be? It may be more than 1,000 because the person who had a rank 1,000 had a score of 209. Rank 2,000 had a score of 157. So see, everyone is getting a decent score. People with good ranks are getting very high scores. 
The reason for very high scores in GI surgery, in my opinion, may be they know the competition is tough, so everyone's studying for it. Some people are taking a year off sitting at home and preparing for it day and night. Some are, have joined very light jobs and studying for it, studying five to six hours a day. So by, <clears throat> and on top of that, all general surgeons have read GI surgery portion in detail. So, and the questions come from Sebastian and Bailey and Love mainly, and very few questions from books like Shackleford. So it may be easier to do guesswork in GI surgery, oncosurgery and urology because we are kind of um, used to or we have the basic knowledge about these systems and it's easy to do guesswork. When they ask something about plastic surgery, neurosurgery or CTVS, we have no idea about it at all. If you haven't heard about something, you've never heard of it. But in GI surgery, you may be able to do guesswork. People are studying a lot for this. Too many people are applying, so the scores are very high. So after understanding the analysis of this video, now you can decide whether you want to put in your time and effort for gastro surgery. If you are not a die-hard fan of GI surgery, you can decide. Let's, let's say you like uh, CTVS or neurosurgery or plastic surgery as well, which are relatively easier to get. And... Uh, you can put in only one or two hours of studying every day. Do you think, do you still think you should prepare for GI surgery or go for those subjects? But if you don't want to do anything apart from GI surgery, obviously whether you put in one hour or two hour at the most every day, you can prepare for one, two, three years, however, you can keep pursuing general surgery until the day you get GI surgery and go for it, definitely. But if you want to do MCH in, let's say, one year, you have to do some MCH and you like gastro the most, are you ready to take the risk? So now you can decide that. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave some comments on uh, whether you would like to see such videos on other subjects. If I'm able to find the rank details, uh, I'll definitely make a video. And like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching.